What's up everybody, Zach here from the Indie Rundown Podcast. I'm back to do a quick little video actually. It's a little theory video. Um, I love talking theories. I, I talk theories with my buddies all the time. Speculations, this and that. Just all, all kinds of ins and outs about everything. Star Wars, Game of Thrones, Marvel, DC, just anything really. But I wanted to talk about a quick little theory with Star Wars real quick. It's not my theory. It's a theory that's been holding a lot of water and, and picking up a lot of steam, especially after the new Rise of Skywalker trailer. And I just kind of wanted to reiterate that I think I have a feeling of what's going to happen. Because people have been saying, okay, how the fuck is Palpatine back? Like, really? How is he supposed to come back? And it's like, well, people forget that Palpatine came back before in the expanded universe. Now, before all you freaking Disney narcs come at me, well, they're not doing stuff from the Legends or the EU. It still doesn't mean they can't cherry pick from that shit, man. There's so much rich source material to pick from. You know, the Mara Jade stuff, the, the Ben and Anakin Solo stuff, the Jason and Jaina stuff, which I think they've kind of put their own little spin on it in the form of Rey and Kylo, but that's neither here nor there. But what I'm saying is, man, they have a lot of great source material to, to choose from and they could put their they could easily put their own spin on it so i kind of think that's what's going on here because here's here's my theory it's like i said it's not my theory i just here's what i think is going on i think that you know with all the hype around snoke you know who is snoke who the fuck is this guy they teased him so big in episode seven and then episode eight he just kind of goes goes out like a little bitch like what happened well i personally believe Snoke was either a clone or a host body possessed by Palpatine's spirits. I think Snoke was Palpatine. Now, before everybody comes at me for talking out of my ass and sounding crazy, if you really look at the logistics of this, I think it's plausible. Because you gotta look at it this way. The original trilogy, Palpatine was the main the main bad guy. The prequel trilogy, Palpatine was the main bad guy. This whole thing has been centered on Palpatine being the great evil. So it kind of makes sense to bring him back and close this arc in Episode Nine, which I think that's kind of what they're doing. Because here's where I stand on this. I think that after, quote, death, I don't really know if he fully died, his, his physical body probably died, but I think his spirit roamed around. I don't know if before he died, he created some type of cloning facility or had some type of, you know, laboratory or, or what have you, any something like that to make clones and host bodies or something like that, but I believe that he possessed the body of Snoke. Now, Snoke could have been someone else before that, or he could have been a whole new custom body made, kind of like Ultron in the MCU was making Vision's body. You know, and it came out looking real fucked up through the cloning process or whatever, I don't know. But I think Snoke was Palpatine, in a sense. And, and um, Now, the whole thing that kind of nags at me on this is if Palpatine was possessing Snoke, if, if, he, if it was Palpatine, why would he let Kylo kill him? I guess by some way it would make him stronger. Uh, maybe he's planning on taking over somebody else's body, or maybe he has another clone. I, I don't know. Maybe while he was living in Snoke's body, he had another facility made or went back to his old facility or made some more clones or something like that or made an entirely new body to face Kylo and Rey. Because here's what I think is going on. I, I know this might sound crazy, and I don't really think I'm too sold on this. You know, I don't know if I'd want to see this outcome, but I could see it happening. Is if in episode 9, Palpatine is the true villain, and the whole thing is Kylo getting redeemed and turning to the light side to team up with Rey and everybody to make one final stand against Palpatine, kind of like the Avengers making one final stand against Thanos. Something like that. That's that's what I think is going on here, and it, it all goes back to the prophecy of the Chosen One, of uh, is Anakin the Chosen One to bring balance to the Force. Uh, he still could have been, but it could have been Rey or even Kylo. I mean, the prophecy is still probably true, but it could have been the wrong person. It might not have been Anakin. I don't know. I don't, Anakin might have been the catalyst for someone else down the road. I, I, I'm not sure. So it's all going to hinge on what's revealed in Episode Nine. But now a lot of people are a little confused about how Palpatine was able to bring his self back after Return of the Jedi from the expanded universe. Now I'm gonna read off one little paragraph that always stuck out to me, and I really think this is what JJ's taking inspiration from. If, if he is indeed going this route, which I could see happening, it would make a lot of sense. But here we go, it says, at an unknown time prior to his death at the Battle of Endor, Palpatine had found a different way to cheat death by preserving his spirit after the death of his body by the method of spirit transference. He arranged for a series of clones of himself to be created for a spirit to possess in the event that he perished. His primary supply of clones was kept on Biss, guarded by loyal Dark Jedi and immense genetically altered guards, and they were maintained by a trusted private physician. Unfortunately, the clones were heavily ravaged by the Dark Side and not sustained by the Force, so each body he took would age and deteriorate more quickly than the last. But the Dark Lord was not concerned. He had an endless supply of clones which he could use to rule the Empire. So to sum it all up, I think that's what's going on here. I think Palpatine was Snoke, and I think that while he was Snoke, 
He was doing his bidding in the physical world by doing God knows what, making more clones, making more enemies. I, I don't know. But I think when Snoke's body was killed by Kylo Ren, Palpatine's spirit transferred to probably a bigger, better body that we might see in Episode 9. I don't know. So it's, it's all kind of blurry right now. But that's it. That's my quick little theory. Like I said, it's a theory that's going around pretty heavily right now, the whole Snoke Palpatine thing. But I just, I could kind of see some... I could kind of see it being a little sound after this. It kind of makes sense. Like I said, especially if they're going to pull from ideas with the expanded universe. So who knows? We got a long ways to go before this movie comes out. I could be totally wrong and I wouldn't care. You know, I don't have expectations. I'm not saying I want this to happen. I'm just saying it, it could happen. You know, I'm just thinking what if. So anyways, let me know what you think. If you got any theories, man, comment below. Let me know what you think. It just I, I'd love to talk about it. So anyways, I'm Zach. We're out. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.